Egg Seekers event is coming to an end, but today we got news of the next banner, and it's a big one. We are getting three brand new units from Final Fantasy VI, and the two units that we already had are getting big upgrades. Since last summer, the units from Final Fantasy VI have taken a backstage to all the new units that Gummy has released, but it's about time that the units from Final Fantasy VI rise to the top once again. So let's dive right in and take a look at these brand new units. First up, we have Gaw, or as some people call him, Gao. Either way, he's the wild child from the Velt. He is a 3 star unit that can be awoken to a 5 star. His TMR is Rage Meteor. The difference between this and Meteor is that this is an ability, which means you won't be able to use this with dual cast. Gaw is a very basic unit with very basic abilities, and probably won't be used much outside of grinding for this event. Next up, we have everyone's favorite kidnapping gambler, Setzer. He's a 4 star unit that can be awoken to a 6 star. His stats are pretty good, but it's his abilities that take an interesting turn. When talking about Setzer, there's one word that describes him best, and that's random. His TMR is a throwing weapon named Fixed Dice. It's attack plus one and random damage when attacking. Even though he uses throwing weapons, he can also be equipped with a sword, which does make his unit more stable. His first ability is Joker's Death, which instantly KOs all enemies, which will be great at clearing mobs. Unfortunately, most bosses are immune to instant death. In total, Setzer gets 10 different abilities, and 6 of those are based on randomness. He is a very good unit. On the Japanese sites, he's ranked very highly, but he's a very niche unit. He'll be great at the arena, and good in certain boss battles. Trans Terra finally comes to Global. She's a 5 star unit that can be awoken to 6 stars. Trans Terra is a magic damage dealer that has the chance to dethrone Dark Fina at the top spot. If you are lucky enough to pull her, not only will you get a top notch damage dealer, but she has an amazing TMR. Solothamasa really is the magic version of the Genji Glove. Unlike Dual Cast, which takes up one of your ability slots, this is an accessory. Like all great magic users, she has natural dual cast. She also has great passive abilities. At 5 star, she gets spirit plus 20% and magic plus 30%. At 6 star, she gets MP plus 30%. But there is something that separates her from other magic damage dealers in the game. She can learn white magic. She learns Kira and most importantly, full life and when paired with dual cast, she'll be a great assistant to any healer in the party. Let's take a look at our returning units that can now be awoken to 6 stars. First up, we have Kefka, who used to be the top magic user in the game, but recently has fallen into obscurity. But with the 6 star, he actually might become relevant once again. Along with some new passive abilities, he also gets some new attack abilities. Even though his magic stats are quite high and his new abilities are quite strong, he doesn't have dual cast. But lucky for Kefka, the way they designed his new abilities, he can get around not having dual cast and still be effective in battles. When Terra receives her 6 star, she becomes a very interesting unit. All the things that made Terra great at 5 stars get amplified at 6 stars. She gets new passive abilities that raise her magic stats really high. But what makes her most interesting is what she gets with white magic. She gets Dispeliga, Esuniga, and Full Life. 
She has become the first true red mage in the game, sufficient at white magic and sufficient at black magic. Also, she can equip swords, so if you have Fraevia's needle, you can give it to her, and if you don't, you can still give her the Enhancer Sword, along with letters and arms. She has everything that would make a good 5-star base unit, but lucky for us, she's a 3-star base unit, so there's a good chance you already have her, and if you don't, with this banner, there's a very good chance you'll pull her. And what would a new banner be without a King Mog event? And it takes place on the floating continent, where Kefka is trying to destroy the world. And on a side note, he is the only antagonist in a Final Fantasy game to actually accomplish his goal in destroying the world. The currency for the event are fish, which are dropped at the end of each quest. The event takes place from Thursday, April 20th, until Thursday, May 11th. And if you're running a pro or elite quest, you may run into this guy who will drop even more fish than normal. And during the second week, it looks like we'll have an even more difficult quest that involves Kefka. I hope you guys are as excited as I am for this new banner to drop. And I also hope that when you're pulling for these units, you guys are able to get those rainbow crystals.